Good morning everyone this is Vrishali in today's session i am giving you most important tips to clear your backlog exams with good marks you must follow all these tips while preparing your exam let's start the session this channel you will get a complete point wise easy explanation practical demo and question bank of following subject you can use this question bank for your insem exam as well as nsem exam please like and share this videos with your friends and subscribe the channel so you will get the notification regarding my new coming videos now see here this is your actual situation present in your present semester you have some backlog papers like one or more subjects depend on the students on the another side you have a regular papers in your current semester you have compulsory five subjects along with five subjects you have class test insem exam assignments practicals and different academic activities right and some colleges also having 75% attendance compulsory so by considering all these things how to prepare for exam and how to prepare for backlog exams let discuss all these things in detail now the first important tip that i am giving you that is stay calm i know you have a backlog papers don't feel nervous or anxious at that time important thing is remain calm and not beat yourself to over your present situation see there are lots of reasons for backlog papers maybe you have not prepared well or you are not good enough to writing in exam right or you have some personal issue you have not give the attention on the important points in the particular subject so there are lots of reasons and facts for your backlog papers but these things have already happened your result have already declared right so focus on the present not the past you are not a robot right you are allowed to make a mistake so always learn from your mistake and don't do this mistake again right so my first and important tip is stay calm you have the time and capabilities to study hard and smart right next the next tip is to identify and understand the subjects see first gather your complete syllabus and highlight all the important points in your syllabus as per your previous year question paper or as the important points thought in your classroom so do all these things first now identify nature of contents identify whether your particular subject is theoretical or numerical or both some subjects also having theoretical plus numerical also diagrams have available so identify nature of the subject clear next so after gathering your subjects and highlighted important points the next important tip is keep the necessary study material ready for study material purpose you have two option either you can use books or youtube videos okay see millions of books available in market in that particular books will mention same concept in different versions but for your backlog exams i am suggesting you you can use local author textbook for clearing your concept you can use techmax techneo publication for your backlog exam and for your current semester exam you can use reference book and don't use four to five books at the same time this is a complete waste of time right so always use a single textbook for your exam next point is don't study from pdf or any online copy okay always use a hard copy for study purpose because it's it is easy to understand and it is easy to remember in your final exam right so always use local author textbook for clearing your concepts next one is youtube videos so you can watch videos for clearing the concept only not for complete study for complete study you can use a textbook and you can use youtube videos for revision purpose before day of the exam clear next now after gathering syllabus important points and study material the next important thing is prepare past year question paper first see i am suggesting you don't study everything first priority will be given to the past year question paper first for that purpose gather all the five year question papers this question papers have available in your university website find all the answers of that particular questions in your textbook okay and make a notes see 
सेल्फ नोट प्ले वेरी इंपॉर्टंट रोल इन इंजीनियरिंग सो मेक अ सेल्फ नोट ऑफ ऑल दो आंसर दैट मेन्शन इन युअर बुक फॉर दी प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स क्वेश्चन राइट इफ इन युअर सब्जेक्ट हैविंग द न्यूमेरिकल्स सो प्रिपेयर ऑल द न्यूमेरिकल्स फ्रॉम युअर प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन पेपर्स मे बी द प्रोबेबिलिटी ऑफ दैट न्यूमेरिकल्स विल बी आस्ड इन युअर एक्जाम इज हाई राइट सो प्रिपेयर एज पर द प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन पेपर फर्स्ट नेक्स्ट थिंग इज आइडेंटिफाय प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन पेपर पैटर्न एंड मार्क्स पैटर्न सी एवरी यूनिवर्सिटी हैविंग डिफरंट क्वेश्चन पेपर पैटर्न राइट सम यूनिवर्सिटी हैविंग धीस थिंग लाइक यूनिट वन यूनिट टू और यूनिट थ्री यूनिट फोर क्वेश्चन सो ऑलवेज आइडेंटिफाय द युअर पेपर पैटर्न एंड एज पर दैट आइडेंटिफाय विच यूनिट्स हैविंग मोर वेटेज ओके एंड प्रिपेयर एज पर द वेटेज इन युअर एक्जाम इन युअर प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन पेपर सम क्वेश्चन आस्ट फॉर फाइव सिक्स और एट मार्क्स Suppose a particular question asked for six marks. So in your present paper, they will also ask same question for six marks, right? So prepare answer as per the marks according the marks. Clear? So prepare your past year question papers. Find out all the answers and make a notes of this thing. Next. So after preparing your past year question papers and gathering all the study materials, prioritize your workload. i am giving you most important tip that is balance your preparation between backlog exams and upcoming semester exams don't give full attention to the backlog exams and ignoring your current semester because these things create your additional or extra backlogs right so maintain a balance between your backlogs and upcoming semester exams now next important thing is preparation time so i am giving you two option for this one is you can do daily one hour study for your backlog exams okay uh, read the answers in your textbook make a notes in this way another option is you should do two or three hour study once a week or twice a week okay so decide these things as per your subject right next thing is don't do study before one day of the exam it gets extremely stressful situation right so i am suggesting you do study regularly and revise the concepts daily the next important tip is how to maintain the balance between backlogs and semester exams right so you can give daily one hour for your backlog exams and one hour for all the concepts that you have taught in your classrooms okay so revise all these things that you taught in your classroom or that will learn from your classrooms right so in this way you maintain a balance between backlogs and upcoming semester exams next the next thing is importance of notes see quality of notes pre pre prepare very important role in your backlogs or in engineering always start the study from easiest subject or the particular subject that you have interested okay so always study from this easiest subject that you should feel comfortable or confidence about your study right suppose if you have a theory exam write down all the keywords and important points in your own self notes next one is suppose if you have numericals so prepare all the numericals types of numericals as per previous year question paper pattern and practice it derivations if you have m1 m2 m3 this kind of paper so practice 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 these things have necessary as per the previous year question paper patterns okay and next one is diagram see diagram is very much important thing if you have a particular diagrams in particular subject so draw this diagram in exam compulsorily because diagram will give extra marks in exam so always focus on this thing clear next next thing is at the time of exam see when you get your question paper first so take a deep breath and relax if you feel relax then only you should solve your question paper properly so when you get your question paper first take a pencil and marks all the questions that you can answer well or you are confidence about it solve easiest question first right next thing is draw neat and clear diagram with pencil give appropriate names or labels or components right next thing is see reviewer is not interested for reading a complete paragraph so always write your answer in points format like 1 2 3 in this way and underline all the important keywords in your answer 
so this is one of the most important steps that will give you extra marks or you will score good in your exams so underline all the important keywords in your exam we already discussed this thing previously like how to set preparation time prepare for exam and how to write exam paper so you must watch this video i have mentioned link of this video in below description box don't skip any question in your exam try to write whatever you know or whatever you understand about particular topic clear next all about hope so these tips will be helpful for your exam thank you all the best